What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Tundra VGC moveset guide. Today I'm going to be going over Reggie Drago, which is a Pokemon that a lot of you guys were waiting for. Uh, I personally think Reggie Eleki will be a little bit better in the VGC metagame, however, uh, Reggie Drago does have a specific niche in its brand new move, Dragon Energy, which we'll get into in just a second. Guys, before I start the video, do me a favor, if you are excited for the Crown Tundra DLC and the VGC metagame that's coming up, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, because I'll be creating content for this for the foreseeable future, and I'm well on the road to 20k, and I'd appreciate the support. But with that, let's go ahead and get into it. So Reggie Drago has one of the highest HP stats in the game. Um, the only Pokemon with higher HP stats are, I believe, Guzzlord, uh, Blissey, Chansey, and they have like they have like no niche whatsoever. Guzzlord is very reminiscent of this Pokemon, or I guess this Pokemon is very reminiscent of Guzzlord in the fact that it is a mixed attacker with high HP, low defenses, but where Guzzlord had very low speed, this thing has a pretty decent speed tier at 80. And it's decent considering the role it's going to take in the game. It, normally 80 would be pretty slow, uh, but because this thing does have that HP to help boost those low defenses, uh, it will be able to take advantage of that speed in a couple of different ways. And this first moveset takes full advantage of that speed. We're going to be running a Timid Nature uh, with the brand new ability Dragon's Maw, the only ability it gets, which essentially uh, boosts the relevant offensive stat, whether it be physical attack or special attack, uh, by 50% when you use a Dragon move. It works just like Steel Worker, uh, but for Dragon moves. This thing is going to be running 252 a special attack, 20 special defense, and 236 speed with a positive speed nature. Uh, the moves we're going to be running are Dragon Energy, Sleep Talk, Draco Meteor, Ancient Power with a Choice Scarf. Now you might be wondering, Marcos, why do you have two Dragon moves, Sleep Talk, and Ancient Power on this moveset? Well, they saw fit to basically make this guy's moveset essentially nothing. It gets Dragon moves, a couple of coverage moves like Thunder Fang and Fire Fang, uh, Ancient Power, and Sleep Talk, pretty much. Uh, th that's like the best it can do. But however, Sleep Talk might be a blessing in disguise in some particular games, uh, and that's because when you get put to sleep by something like Sleep Powder Venusaur or Sporamungus, you'll be able to still use a move regardless of that fact, uh, and that could catch your opponent off guard, and because this thing has such a low move pool, such limited moves, uh, we can actually afford to run Sleep Talk regardless. But yeah, Dragon Energy is actually 150 base power at full HP, so if we're running this Choice Scarf with 236 H or with 236 speed and a positive nature, we'll be able to always outspeed Timid Max Speed Dragapult, and most likely one-shot it with that very powerful Dragon Energy, because it's not only getting the Stab boost, but it's getting the Dragon's Maw boost, which is disgustingly powerful. And yes, it does hit both opponents, it's just like, uh, it's just like Eruption and Water Spout, which makes this thing super threatening. It essentially has like a built-in Choice Specs on top of the Choice Scarf, but you don't get locked into a move. Alright, see, so I already went over Sleep Talk, so the next move is Draco Meteor. You could swap that out for Dragon Pulse, however, Draco Meteor will allow you the most damage on any given turn, uh, as long as you, you know, switch out afterwards. Uh, and once again, we're running two Dragon moves, because one, Dragon Energy will be decreased in power if this thing, if this thing takes enough damage, uh, so Draco Meteor will eventually be better, and also because it has such limited moves. The final move is Ancient Power. It's just a nice rock coverage move. You'll be able, you'll be able to hit fire types, flying types, etc. Uh, for some decent damage, especially if you Dynamax and turn it into Max Rockfall. So yeah, uh, that's the first moveset. I think it's actually going to be one of the most popular movesets on this thing. I don't expect many people to innovate past that. However, we are innovating ourselves. We have another moveset. This one is another one that probably came to mind. It is Modest Choice Specs. We're running a Modest Nature with 252 Special Attack, 164 Special Defense, and 92 Speed. This thing is running Dragon Energy, Sleep Talk, Draco Meteor, and Ancient Power. The exact same thing. However, the reason we're running 92 speed this time instead of the previous speed tier, I forget what it was, uh, is because with a or with a Tailwind up, which you're probably going to be able to run Tailwind next to this thing, it has a great partner in Whimsicott and Tornadus, uh, you'll be able to get the instant speed boost, and this will allow you to outspeed max speed Pheromosa, which is the next fastest thing in the metagame. We could go up to Regieleki, but Regieleki doesn't threaten this thing too hard because we naturally resist electric moves. So yeah, that's a pretty basic moveset. Choice Specs is just a slight... Um, just a slight change from the previous moveset, but we do have some innovation coming up here with Iron Ball. Now, this thing is absolutely devastating under Trick Room, and that's because you can run the Iron Ball to cut the speed tier in half. Uh, while it isn't the slowest thing under Trick Room, the Iron Ball does help out a ton, especially if you run the negative nature with the quiet, <laughs> with the quiet nature and zero speed IVs. We're running four defense. 252 Special Attack, 252 Special Defense, Dragon Energy, Protect Draco Meteor, Ancient Power, 
nothing really past that. Uh, <laughs> we are gonna be or we're gonna be running a Trick Room Pokemon next to this, whether it be Stack Attacka, uh, Porygon 2, or Dusclops. All those Pokemon are phenomenal partners, but personally I feel that Stack Attack is a bit better of a Trick Room setter for this guy, because he will actually be able to counter those fairy types that this thing does not want to face. And that's actually very important for Reggie Drago to survive. It needs to you need to make sure it takes as little damage as possible so you can get that dragon energy at full power every single time. So yeah, uh, very basic EV spread there. Uh, and keep in mind, when I like pour 252 into a particular stat, that's entirely because the metagame hasn't formed yet and we don't know exactly what we should be calcing for. So yeah, uh, as, as the metagame becomes more developed, we'll get a better idea as to what we need to calc for. Next up, we have an Assault Vest spread, and this thing has massive HP, right? Massive HP lends itself to being a good Assault Vest uh, Pokemon. So we're going to be actually running a Modest Nature with 4 Defense, 252 Special Attack, and 252 Special Defense. And the reason we're maxing out the Special Defense instead of the HP is because when you slap an Assault Vest onto something with massive, massive HP, you actually get the most bang for your buck by maxing out the low Special Defense stat. So if a Pokemon has massive HP and naturally low Special Defense, you can max out that Special Defense to get the most uh, bulk out of it, where if a Pokemon has low HP and high Special Defense, you get the most bulk out of it by maxing out the HP. Uh, I guess the counter, <laughs> the uh, exact opposite of this Pokemon would be like Gudra, uh, except Gudra has decent HP, but you still max that thing's uh, HP out to get the most bulk out of it when you run AV. So yeah, uh, the moveset is going to be Dragon Energy, Hyper Beam, Breaking Swipe, and Ancient Power. Dragon Energy has no introduction, like we don't need to go over that. Hyper Beam is just a coverage move because this thing gets very, very bad coverage overall. Uh, I figured that if you're going to be running this thing, you might occasionally want to Dynamax it and go for a Max Strike for speed control. That speed control is very important. Uh, it's also a very powerful move considering it's always 150 base power and hits a lot of things for neutral. Next up is Breaking Swipe. Uh, the Assault Vest spread, while it may be running a negative attack nature, you can afford to run Breaking Swipe even though it's a physical move because it does lower both of your opponent's attack stats and that will allow you to uh, just get a little bit more use out of this Pokemon as a slight support option. And once again, Ancient Power is a nice coverage move because it gets literally nothing. Final set is one of the fun sets that I think I'm going to be running. It's actually a Jolly uh, Weakness Policy, so Jolly Nature, 252 attack, uh, 20 special defense, 236 speed, once again at plus one, uh, whether it be from a choice scarf or the Dragon Dance in this case, you'll be able to outspeed Jolly Max Speed Dragapult. Our moveset is Dragon Dance to boost our attack and speed. At plus one, this thing's physical attack is actually really, really threatening with uh, stab dragon moves, so you have to watch out for that. Uh, we're running Protect because it's important to, you know, scout for fake outs, scout for fairy moves. That's always really useful. Dragon Claw as our main offensive move, a nice stab option. While it may have low base power comparative to other dragon moves this thing gets, it's the best physical dragon move you can run on it. And we are running Hammer Arm. While that may lower our speed if we use it in our base form, I anticipate this thing to be a solid Dynamax option overall, and if you are Dynamaxed at plus one speed, you can afford to start throwing off some Max Knuckles to one, counter the Steel types that would normally wall you, and two, boost your physical attack. And yeah, because this thing has such massive HP, you can actually afford to run the Weakness Policy on it and likely survive a hit. So if you go for a Dragon Dance and then take a super effective hit, whether or not you proc it yourself with Ice Shard or allow your opponent to hit you with a low power Dazzling Gleam or something, uh, probably one coming off a of Tapu Koko since it has relatively low special attack compared to other special attackers, uh, you'll be able to get your weakness policy off and then just Dynamax outspeed everything and start picking up massive KOs. You could drop Hammer Arm for Crunch or maybe uh, Thunder Fang or Fire Fang, but personally I feel that the attack boost from Hammer Arm is probably the best you're going to get out of it. Now getting onto the partners, I, I feel like Whimsicott is probably one of the best things you could run with this thing overall. Whether you're running a special attacker or a physical attacker, that Tailwind is super useful. And on the special attacking sets, you could actually run Fake Tears on the Whimsicott as well. So you can run like Tailwind, Fake Tears, Protect, and Moonblast. And it makes it such a threatening Pokemon. Especially considering you can just Fake Tears the Pokemon that would naturally resist the Dragon move, and then just KO it because it's at neutral, pretty much. Uh, next partner is Tornadus. For the exact same reason of Tailwind, nothing really passed that. Uh, next partner, I suggest Stack Attacka. Once again, for the Trick Room, the fact that it helps beat Fairy types, and that it's just a generally good partner. If you want to go crazy, run Skill Swap on it and give your Reggie Draco, um, give your Reggie Draco uh, Beast Boost, which I believe Stack Attacka actually does get Skill Swap. Let me double check. I remember seeing something crazy like that. 
it does get skill swapped, so if you want to go crazy, run that. Next Pokemon is Clefairy. It'll be able to redirect away moves from this uh, Regidrago, and with Eviolite and Friend Guard, you'll decrease the damage overall, uh, as well as uh, redirect away moves that would normally be super effective on it, like Dragon moves, and then the uh, Clefairy actually takes nothing. Uh, it also gets Icy Wind to help with speed control and helping hand to boost your moves. Next Pokemon is the Amoongus. It can put opponents to sleep and redirect, nothing really past that. And the final partner I recommend is going to be Indeedee Female because it does set up Psychic Terrain protecting you from priority fakeouts and other prior priority moves. Uh, it's able to redirect away hits and it's just a generally good partner with Helping Hand and stuff. But yeah, uh, that's it for the Reggie Draco moveset guide. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Do you think Reggie Draco is going to be a good Pokemon in the format? Do you think it's going to be garbage? Let me know how you're running it. Leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice night. Bye.